Hi, welcome to the new section of this course, Jupyter R Scripting. Jupyter's native language is Python. Jupyter was essentially IPython. Before being renamed became popular for data analysis, a number of people were interested in using the suite of R programming analysis tools that are available in a Jupyter notebook. The section will demonstrate the following topics. Adding R scripting to your installation, basic R in Jupyter, R dataset access and visualization in Jupyter, R cluster analysis and forecasting. Now we will see the first video of this section, adding R scripting to your installation. In this video, we will learn how to add R scripting to your installation. Two big installation platforms are Mac and Windows. There are separate but similar steps required to make R scripting available in your Jupyter installation. Adding R scripts to Jupyter on a Mac. If you are operating a Mac, you can add R scripting using this command line. This will start off with a large installation of the R environment, which contains a number of common packages. Proceed to Yes. Adding R scripts to Jupyter on Windows. If you are operating a Windows machine, you are in for quite a few steps to get R in Jupyter. This environment was really developed for Linux. You should first make sure your notebook software is up to date using this command. This produces the output. Then we take the plunge and add R scripting. This produces a detailed view of the packages that are updated. In my case, it installed a full set of R packages and runtimes even though I had used R elsewhere on the machine earlier. Proceed to yes. Adding R packages to Jupyter. The standard installation for R under Jupyter has many packages that are commonly used in R programming. However, if you do need to add another package, it is a small number of steps. Close down your notebook, including the server. In the command line window, type this. Restart your notebook by typing this command and the package should be available for use in your R script. To use an installed package, type library, name of the R package you want to add. Note, you may still have problems in R if the core version of R that you have installed is out of date and you need to upgrade to use a particular library. R limitations in Jupyter. In this section, we used a variety of packages, both pre-installed and installed especially for the example. I have exercised a variety of materials available in R under Jupyter and have not found any limitations. You can do most of the steps in Jupyter that you would have done under the standard R implementations. The only limitation appears to be when you were using Shiny or if you were attempting to use extensive Markdown. For Shiny, I think you are mixing purposes. Jupyter provides a web experience and so does Shiny, so I'm not sure how to even decide if this should work. This issue is being addressed by the Jupyter development group. Using extensive Markdown also does not appear to be a good idea. The intent of Markdown was to allow notebook developers to augment the standard output of R in a more illustrative manner. I think if you are adding extensive Markdown to your notebook, you really need to develop a website, maybe using Shiny. Then you would have all HTML Markdown available. After adding R scripts to Jupyter, once the notebook is up and running, you should be able to use the command line Jupyter Notebook. If you open the new menu in the top right, you will see a choice that has been added for R scripting. Great! We have successfully added R scripting to your installation. 